Hey, what's up guys? It's Fisher and welcome back to some more Elven Campaign for Total War Warhammer 2. Now quickly before we get started, just look at this. Look how much it changes when we're in the Chaos Waste to the north of Old One. And then compare this to when we come back down south into actual the central of Alpha Old One itself. Like that's crazy, right? Just how much different it gets as we make our way up here and look back from the Chaos Wastes. That's an insane change right there. But yes, where we last left off, we were pushing on the Dark Elf holds in Ulf 1. We want to push them out of here as quickly as we can. And I think we're going to achieve that this episode fairly easily. We have Tyrion with his elite army, his new model army. And he is kicking ass up here in the north. Um, and he's ready to beat back them out. And hopefully once we gave it, gain this extra waystone, that will be really, really nice. Because that will help us in our race. We're also probably going to start our other ritual today as well. Uh, mainly because we're pretty much there and the provinces we have to protect are pretty like defensible anyway this one's inside the phoenix gates and this one is outside the phoenix gates but we do have an okay army ready to garrison it and i imagine the garrison itself here is is not bad either yeah this is actually a walled city itself so overall it's going to be a really hard you know yeah look at that four white lions some sea guard and some silver helms plus an extra lord like when we start this ritual i think we're going to be in a great situation so what we're probably going to do is end the turn, go ahead and kick off our siege battle in the north, uh, defeat the Dark Elves there, then do our ritual, and then see where we we'll see where it goes from there. Obviously, we want to try and confederate with that green faction in Ulf 1 uh, next, mainly obviously because we want to take the whole of it. And then you guys were saying, like, you think it would be cool if we, we unite with Tetlas? So I think that's what we're going to try and do in the, in the long like run of things, is actually try and unite with Tetlas and see where that gets us. Because I think it'd be really, really cool. Because not only would we hold up the whole of Ulf 1, we'd hold the like, whole of the, the south of the, the, uh, the New World. Which would just be amazing, you know. South of Mazda Mundi. I think Tetlas pretty much owns all of it. So that'd, that'd be really fun. And, you know, obviously once we've taken the north of Nagaron as well, like, we're probably going to take, you know, most of the map. Probably everything bar the Southlands by the time we, we start our final ritual, maybe. Depending on how quickly we get there once we start snowballing. Because I feel like the more, obviously, provinces we have, the more waystone we get, the quicker we do, obviously, progress through these rituals. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stick it on triple speed as the Pirates uh, of Santos. Just, I think they're going to go and kill these uh, goblins, which are roaming the lands. I don't actually know. I haven't really seen too much from these pirates. Uh, but we are friends, I believe. I believe we are, like, pretty, like, friendly. So I'm not really too scared. About them trying anything. I probably do need to retreat back an army over here. I might as well pick this up whilst we're here. Go and explore the ship wreck. Uh, campaign. All I want is like the better movement speed, if I'm honest. Like, that's all I really care about. The motion money is nice, but. Okay, now let's. Where do we go? I think we go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. And we'll just, we'll just keep on going and exploring all of this land. I mean, we can maybe go in and maybe like just try and land over here and join up with Tetlas maybe before we confederate with him. Because he does own all of this territory. He is killing it at the moment up here. And he obviously owns everything to the south as well. So he does own a lot. And obviously confederating with him would give us all that extra waystone as well. Which is not too shabby whatsoever. So I think this army was making its way over here. Uh, this has just leveled up as well which is great. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll immediately upgrade the uh, garrison post. And we will also build our new buildings here. So we can build the Hall of Chariots, giving us some extra... I mean, we might as well be build, build these. They'll give us some nice bonuses. And also, I think, provide a garrison. And then finally, what else do we want here? Maybe just an Elven Embassy. To give us more money. Not that we need more money. We're already pretty rich. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's also what we we're going to do as well, weren't we? We're going to send this army back to uh, to Ulf 1. Well, not to, yeah, we're already in Ulf 1. Sorry, my mistake. To send this army back to uh, Lothurn. And then start building her and elite ass army. Because I think I want it to take her army. And I want to move it northwards. And I want to use her to take out the rest of these chaos to the north of us. So we can reclaim our islands up here. I think that would be pretty cool. I think go you for now just retreat back. Yeah, I think you retreat back mainly because I don't want you to be attacked by any of these roaming armies. And oh. That's disgusting. That is absolutely revolt. I mean, I guess he is Bjork the Black Rider. But look at this army. There's not a single unit of infantry. That is revolting. I actually threw up a little bit in my mouth just then. That's actually disgusting. <laughs> but cool. Let's go ahead and start this battle then. Uh, we're going to fight it, obviously. I think it's a field battle as well, right? They have a lot of crossbows, but we have plenty of infantry to chop them down to size. 
when we seven lives. Yeah, this is a uh, non-battle. He obviously have a garrison as well. Now, the, on the only thing that really scares me in this battle is the amount, the sheer amount of crossbows we have. And we're back. That was so weird. For some reason, it just didn't go ahead and uh, let us fight this battle. It's so strange. So we'll just jump in again and uh, fight it. Yeah, as I was saying, like, it, the screen just went black and it just didn't load like it is loading now. So that was strange. But hopefully we don't run into that issue anymore. And we can get in and uh, get ready to take this shrine. Which will be nice. Because as I said earlier. Getting this extra waystone. Will just really help progress our rituals. Getting us towards that late game. Because I mean we are already what like. Yeah, I think we're like 120 turns in already. So we're, we're getting somewhat close. Which is not bad considering we're only like what 12 parts into this campaign maybe a little bit more no maybe like 13 parts in so you know that's kind of good I, I do definitely enjoy it at least from a let's play point of view that we are going to be finishing up this campaign you know before 25 parts because them longer campaigns where it's just like 60 parts no one watches part 60 so you know it's always good so we've got 18 should we gamble it I and mean, we have so much power in reserve that I'm just not going to bother. Uh, so let's set up our army then. So we know they have a ton of crossbows. Uh, they have an absolutely disgusting amount of crossbows. And, you know, we are a little bit depleted infantry-wise. So we do need to be a little bit careful with how we set up our forces. Um, but I'm sure our infantry... We just need to get our infantry engaged. Let our cavalry go around the side. The dragons can go as like a pack again on that left flank. Um, and then the phoenix guard can sit in the back. Their reinforcements, I don't know where their reinforcements are coming on from, but I'm sure wherever they do come on from, we'll be able to deal with them. We'll sit Tyrion there. And let's just start with battle. So I think what I'm immediately going to do when we start this battle is pop a regen, um, an earth blood right here. And just get these guys a little bit healthier. Straight away. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is just pop it here. Regenerate these guys, regenerate these guys. How are these guys not in range? What the hell? Okay, that was the worst earth blood ever. I thought these guys would be in range, but I guess not. They're going to come into range of my archers to begin with, which is perfect. Oh, I'll hopefully try and get these sea guard to focus down their, their cavalry first. And then obviously just shoot their, um, their crossbows afterwards. And as soon as they get a little bit closer, I think we're going to rush forward with this infantry. And just try and get stuck in as quickly as we can. Nice. Some of our archers are shooting now. We do want to obviously focus these archers down on their crossbows. Uh, killing the crossbows. Because the crossbows are the ones going to be doing the most damage. Whereas the majority of their infantry are just going to be getting cut down by mine. So let's rush up our infantry now. We'll send up Tyrion as well. Just into the fight. And our Lawmaster as well. The Phoenix Guard can also make their way up. Uh, along with the dragons. Obviously they can go down that left flank. And then these knights can just come in. Oh, they they want to engage me, do they? Let's go, boys. If they want to try and fight my dragon princes, then they're more than welcome to. And we'll also tell all this sea guard as well to obviously shoot their crossbows. We do actually have a pretty good general up there, uh, which is kind of funny. So yeah, you come in. Let's go dragon fire down here. Uh, and then you come around here and like dragon fire there. Why not? Do we only give vortex spells? I don't think we do, right? No, we don't. We just have like buff spells more than anything else. We'll actually tell these guys to charge. Yeah, you guys just get in, because the Swordmasters should be doing great against them. Yeah, you just come in there. No, you just come in there. These Swordmasters will be able to deal with them there. The Phoenix Guard are making their way up as well. So if we go proper slow-mo, we can really see this. We're also going to pop another Earthblood off here. Right there, just to help regenerate these guys. Um, also pop a Parallel Convergence. Uh, oh, like, on oh, these guys, why not? Um, and also shoot off our missiles right there. Tyrion actually took a bunch of damage right there. We'll pop Stand Your Ground as well. As well as, can we pop a nice little Sung Fang, like, right here? I think we can. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Look at that, ripping right through them. Oh, the damage, baby. Look at that damage. Oh, my lord. And then you guys just come flying down and the dragons come in. The dragon princes are having a good time against their infantry. Oh, baby, his army is just so good. Look at the dragon princes come flying in. This is going to be perfect. They are just going to not give any mercy to these traitorous Dark Elves whatsoever. Run them down. I know some of my own archers are obviously doing some damage, but look at all this routing as well. My god, that is beautiful. A beautiful sight. The Phoenix Guard haven't even got their hands bloodied yet. That is great. I guess we'll pop another Wild Form off just to, why not, buff these guys up. And these Phoenix Guard can obviously get involved against the, uh, the General right there, for sure. Um, Sunfang obviously is not back, and we'll go up to normal speed, why not. I uh, probably should tell all these archers, though, just to, uh, you know, obviously hold your position more than anything else. These sword masters, okay, Murderous Prowess has been popped, so we do need to be a little bit careful. You guys can come in now and help out there. You guys can make your way in there. We've got our Fire Breath back in a second, so I guess we'll hold off really quickly so we can pop another Fire Breath off. Just burn them, and then you have your Fire Breath back in a second as well. 
Oh, look at that damage. I'm actually missing quite a few of them, but I'm sure that's fine. They are running away. Our cavalry just continuing to charge them down. Perfect. How's Tyrion doing? Tyrion is still fighting. We'll get a nice little surround right there. Yeah, you guys just shoot the general. Swordmaster's coming in the back. Beautiful. And I can't wait until we continue to upgrade Tyrion. Because the more we upgrade Tyrion, the better it's going to be. We're actually going to start making him more into a tank. Because he's really gone down the morale route. And also going down the kind of civil route more than anything. So it's going to be great to actually start putting points in his military tree. Because he's already really good. As we can just see their general just being destroyed there. Very nice. Dragon, please go down and finish them off. So that's, just, that's just a unit of archers, right? That is just a unit of archers. Oh, God. Just leaving our cavalry by themselves. Don't know where all of these guys have come from, but that's fine with me, I guess, as all the infantry does start to rout. I guess just chase them down a little bit. We have Sunfang back as well, so I guess we'll pop Sunfang off somewhere. Probably like there would be okay. Yeah, like there would probably be half decent. Because it'll hit these guys, and it should also hit these guys. So just about. Just the tip with them, guys. Just the tip. But yeah, we've obviously won this battle. Killing loads of them. The Archer Fire is still coming in. Um, obviously, this is a siege battle, so we don't need to run anyone down or kill them. Because as it is a siege battle, they will just end up dying. And there we go. Look, nice. Dragon Prince is doing great. Infantry doing what they did. We lost 104 men, and we slaughtered them. You know, this army is going to be so good. And once it's kind of got some more chevrons under its belt, once Tyrion is leveled up a little bit, it's just going to be unkillable. I don't understand. Like, I don't think... I don't, can't even see how many armies it will take to take down Tyrion's army. It's just so good. And once we get a really nice talisman, that'll be amazing as well. We also just got four grand for that victory. Insane. So we killed their lord, succeeded that. Nice. So we've taken this now. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Mainly because... Oh, wow. What's this? Shrine of the Widowmaker. That's really cool. Providing garrison of Phoenix Guard and White Lions. Income from post loot battle. Faction wide. Wow, that's insane. And unit experience for all units recruited. It, holy crap. It takes 20 turns to build, though. That is insane. But it does also give an insane amount of unpainted as well in the area. I guess we'll build this for the way fragments. Um, I would also very much like to build a garrison post here. So I guess when we have enough... Yeah, I guess oh, it takes 10 turns as well. Oh, because of the building, right? Yeah, because it's on... Yeah, okay, that's why. I was going to say, that's insane. I guess then, actually, maybe we're not going to do that. Oh, I'm going to build this, and then the... That already, take, that already takes four turns. I guess we're going to do that, just because I'd rather that, and we can always get that shrine later. The post-loot battle money is nice, but I don't think it's that desperate. I'd much rather have a stronger defense there than anything else. I think we'll continue to go down this Blame Master. Just give him more hate, uh, give him more melee attack. Is there no... Oh, I guess there is no uh, HP bonus anymore. There used to be that Scar Veteran thing, but I guess Tyrion doesn't get it. I guess he's not really like... You know, elves aren't really classed as like being that kind of Scar Veteran-esque type unit. Really, are they? So is everyone prepared out of interest for this siege battle? I think... For this ritual, I should say. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the turn one more time and then start this ritual... So yeah, you go, into, you go into that. You make your way over here, which you'll do next turn. Have you already moved? You haven't moved because... Oh, no, oh yeah, we're a turn behind, I think, actually. Um, oh yeah, we also have a new ritual to pop as well. I guess we'll do the growth one here. Or maybe even construction costs could be kind of nice. Uh, what one do we want? Maybe just for growth. Yeah, growth will be nice because this province does need quite a few upgrades. I know we've got, like, we've got garrison posts building everywhere. I love it. Because at this point, it's not like we really need the money. At this point, it's not like we really need the uh, bonuses to my public order or anything. I just honestly need these promises to be, to be protected from random stuff spawning. So that my armies can go elsewhere. And that, that's lovely to see. So yeah, we're definitely going to be using that to our advantage. We'll also speed things up. I don't really care what Nagaron do. They are nothing to me. I mean, we've always levied up the balance of power. Now, this is a little bit scary to see what, where this ship goes. But I think all it's going to do is land and then... We'll obviously send an army to go deal with it. Now, granted, it could definitely cause me some problems if they wanted to. But I'm hoping they're just going to come and siege down and not attack these smaller towns. Because I think it would be a good idea for them to attack the smaller towns. As I don't really have an army in this area. Obviously, I have a White Lion army, but it's not a full stack. It's just kind of a mix. But I mean, to be fair, though, it is White Lions and Seaguard pretty much exclusively. Which can definitely pack a punch. 
So the Servants of Chaos still going off. And I don't think we're going to be able to stop Nagaron's Ritual at all. I think they've got this for sure. We could obviously send an army to go stop them, uh, maybe with our money. Eight turns. Yeah, let's do it. Let's send an intervention army. Why not? Right? Yeah, let's send an intervention army. Why not? We'll send a full stack one. And I'm hoping they'll be... Yeah, they've spawned over here. Oh, God, though. Oh, look at how gross that intervention army is. I mean, it's pretty good, but... There's also a full stack right here he has to deal with. Best of luck. Hopefully, you can just take it and then hold it. The garrison is okay. That's going to be difficult for him to take it. Can we send another one or not? No, just one, right? Yeah, just one. That was, like, all our money for the turn, but I think it's fine. So, I, I honestly do think we just move over here in case in case the, the Chaos Army spawn over here and just stop my ritual. That would suck. That's a little bit scary. Again, I think we just make our way down here and almost just garrison the High Vale. Because this is like the weakest province which could, could come down and hit me. Oh, yeah, we wanted to upgrade that as well, didn't we? There's also these upgrades as well. Because we're a turn behind when I loaded up the autosave. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, so, yeah, you go off of that now. You're making your way back, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to force march your way back. I mean, I guess we can send Tyrion back because you're going to be in the province overall anyway. So I guess we, we then bring Tyrion back um, because he does need to get into a suitable climate so we can get our replenishment. And I guess we'll go and maybe destroy these guys. Just, you know, reclaim back Torgard. And then I don't know what to do with Tyrion. I want to send him over to Nagaron, so I think that's what we're probably going to focus on. But I think we're just good to start this ritual. Why not? Let's go. Even working together, it will take your greatest adepts some time to complete. Such is the ritual's power that the great vortex itself distorts under its pull. Be wary, though, for while the vortex is weakened, the forces of chaos will slip into this world. Ready your defenses, for they will doubtless be drawn to the ritual's power. Okay, so we have started our ritual now. By the looks of it, though, there's been a new Skaven faction. Unknown Skaven clan. I have heard about this, that there's, a, there's another Skaven clan that comes into the game once you get, I guess, this far into the ritual. The nice thing is, the ritual is giving us some good bonuses. Upkeep cost, which is going to be really useful. Public order. And also recruitment, which is going to be perfect for this army we're currently going to be building over here next turn. Um, that's going to be great. We can really start getting some units out uh, ASAP uh, to reinforce this. So, yeah, here they are. They're attacking me here. We might lose some of these northern provinces. Granted, I believe I have bought quite a few garrison posts in certain places, which is nice. But yeah, this is going to be getting hit. Um, I imagine, obviously, we've got the armies over here coming in. And if, that where, is that, if that's where all their armies are, I guess we'll send this army more northwards more than anything else. And I guess we'll send... Hmm, where do we send Tyrion? I'm not even too sure where we even send him. That's fine. We'll see what they all do next turn. We can maybe even muster some more men. I mean, hopefully they just go straight from my ritual sites, which I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Which is fine. So, yeah, we, we don't actually have an, a def military alliance with uh, with him anymore, right? With Tetlas. Because for some reason, it just went ahead and kicked D off. Because I think I didn't join a war. He didn't join one of my wars. I wonder if we could just strap confederate with him. No. He would have been hilarious just to confederate and all of a sudden get all them people in. Uh, to our army. You guys would probably confederate with me, though, right? Carefully. Military alliance first. We'll do that, obviously, anyway. Now will you confederate with me? No. Okay, that's fine. I mean, but we do obviously want to confederate with them at some point. We also want Tyrion to get his army back up to full strength. And you're just making your way there. Cool, let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, do we have any rights we can pass? At the moment, nothing too great. I mean, the Replenishment and the Untainted would be nice, but I don't think I need to press that. Oh, yeah, we we'll obviously have all this building stuff over here as well. So let's upgrade that. It's going to take me a few turns to get. We'll do that as well. Seems like a good plan. And we're just making so much goddamn money. Almost 10 grand a turn is beautiful. We might as well, like, because I want to kind of, before building another army. Oh, yeah, over here. Nice, Bow of the Seafarer. That's kind of cool. Until we do make our way, like, until we do build this new army onto our, our princess, I don't really want to kind of invest in building even more armies yet. But we can definitely add a few more, more units to other armies, because obviously she's going to have a really elite army. Like, I don't want her army to be as good as Tyrion's, but she's going to have an army to rival it for sure. You know, she's going to be the safekeeper of Ulf 1 whilst Tyrion goes off on a crusade. Oh, the Dark Elf Intervention Armies! Shit, son! I totally forgot about this. 
I totally forgot about them doing this. This is gonna be this is gonna be annoying, you know. They raised it as well. What a punch of dicks! This is gonna be fun. Obviously, they can't take out Ulf one, so I mean, uh, they can't take out Low Fern, so I'm okay with that. That is funny. That is I did not expect that. I, I completely forgot about intervention armies. That's actually really annoying. Oh well, this is gonna be good. I'm, I'm glad there's a chill challenge because they haven't done any of this, you know, at all whatsoever. Nothing more. What do you want? Non-aggression? I mean, I guess. I mean, maybe I can get them to declare war on the uh, on the dark elves. Yeah. So where are you guys gonna go? Southwards? Oh my god, they're straight up raising me to shit. That's not good at all. Oh my god, this is this is this is turned up because I haven't really had a challenge in so long, at all. So this is fun. This is good. Okay, so we need to go into like quick quick mode of of stopping them here. They want me to capture Torgrad, which I don't think we, we can do right now. I think we're a bit busy, if I'm honest. Tyrion, force march your way. Get over here as soon as possible. I guess you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to be my army in the darkness, right? You're going to have to be, have to be my force, which holds the line. So killing these guys, I think, will be fine. Um, you know, she will hold. She's got a pretty nice army. I believe we also have a garrison post here. No, we don't have a garrison post here. But any garrison there will be nice. Tyrion is making his way over as well. We honestly just need to go into damage control and try and hold this. And Lawmaster leveled up. Perfect. Um, I guess direct damage could be kind of nice. Also, Spirit Leech is not bad. I think what we were doing is actually we were just making him into a good fighter, right? Now. Yeah, I think we were. Public Order would be nice as well. But I think we just go into the, you know, making him into actually being able to hold his own in a, in a melee combat situation. So yeah, we honestly need to get an army over here as soon as we can. I guess we'll, we'll muster one. Because what is this? This is this is this one. So this is a walled city. So that's a little bit more strong. But they don't have a, they have a crap all garrison. I guess we will have to build a new lord though. And you're actually really good. So we're going to get you. You are my princess and you will hold the line. I guess we'll just get a bunch of white lions. Four units of white lions. I don't think you're strong enough to take this out, right? No way you're strong enough. Is that, all? that is a walled city, right? And I guess we'll immediately build that garrison post there. Uh, we don't want to obviously spend all our money. So I guess you will actually just retreat back a little bit. Because obviously if they can't take on low firm. There's no way they're going to be able to break them walls. But garrison here is just insane. We're actually having a spare slot here as well. Don't even know what to build there. do not really have anything to build. Maybe just like more money or something. Could be a good idea. Um, so yeah, you come back here. And you start... Oh, we've already got all the recruitment over there. I think we need the recruitment to the north, if I'm honest. I think you actually still go into this army. Where do the Dark Elves go as well? They had a fleet round here somewhere. The fleet is up here. Oh, and we obviously have to deal with all of these armies coming in as well. So obviously, I think you make your way northwards. Uh, you, so you go into Vez, defend that Alistair. You also leveled up as well. Again, as we said, we're going to make him into a, a really good fighter. Actually, I think we're going to give him that bonus against large. That's a really nice ability. And also gives him a load of leadership as well. Uh, you form down. I think we just must drop some men to auto-resolve these battles against them. Even though this area doesn't even have a, uh, a post right there. Okay, so all our armies are on the move. We might actually end up losing a couple more provinces before this starts going good again. But I, I believe in our power. Maybe you should even come back home. Actually, no. I, don't, I honestly don't think we're going to need her to come back home. Yeah, you just keep on going on your on your quest to discover the world, basically. I mean, the amount of times that she must have that buff for so long now. If you click on her army, yeah, ten turns she's got that buff for. That's that's funny. Um, and I think we just end the turn again, and and obviously we might get pushed back here. We might get attacked. We might get destroyed, but. You know, we will rise again like the phoenixes we are from the ashes. I would like to see them actually try and take on Lothurn. Like, that'd be a fun siege battle, I think. Watching that Dark Elf Intervention Army. Also, what happened to our... Oh, okay, they killed our Intervention Army. God, that sucked. That was such a waste of 10k. Oh, bring it on, please. Oh, I think, the, I think them High Elves are coming in to help us as well. Because they are my military allies. So I think they're going to come and hopefully lift the siege. 
Our, our economy is going to take a, like a pounding now because we lose all the money we get from our capital. And obviously, that is quite a lot of money. So we're going to all of a sudden lose. You know, you're going to see our income drop quite heavily. But that's fine. As long as we can build our units. What, you seek is for the good. My sword is uh, what do you want? They broke it. Okay. Um, what? Like, that was just so random. Okay, now this is where I'm scared of. Like, what are you guys going to do? You're going to come siege me here? I thought that was the case. And you're going to attack me here. This is going to be a fine battle, though. This is an okay army. But, like, honestly, like, look at what we got. We've got a really good army. Sea guard. Like, we're just going to shoot them to pieces. Um, so, yeah, we're obviously going to fight this. So, yeah, two battles in one episode. Not bad. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying it that we've, we've been attacked from, you know, what? There's six full stacks trying to stop our ritual plus the, um, plus the intervention army. So, we're currently fighting seven full stacks, you know? I honestly don't see as well. If we if we weren't using this upkeep mod to just get rid of the extra cost when you recruit a new army, like how would this be possible? You're fighting seven full stacks, and like you'd probably only be able to have three armies. That's insane, right? Like I I really have just I just do not agree with that uh, whatsoever. The way they've kind of implemented that. So I guess we'll get our spearmen. Like our spearmen are kind of crappy, um, which is not good. But they are they all anti large, right? All our spearmen. Yeah, our spearmen are anti large. We'll be able to deal with a large portion of their infantry. We'll just form up in the center here. Um, we'll have our white lines to obviously smash down their infantry. Uh, we'll have our, we have a lot of cavalry as well, actually, to be fair. A lot of cavalry. Also, a lot of reavers as well, which can definitely cause them some damage, especially even hitting their artillery as well, like straight off the bat. We have a nice little noble right there. Look at this statue. Oh, we're definitely going to fight behind this statue, actually. Definitely going to fight on this statue. What, what sword does she have? She has a tormented sword. Reducing someone's melee attack. That's good. Um, and then we have these archers, right? Yeah, these additional archers, which I guess can just sit behind the line. The battle line right there. Um, actually, what, where are all these guys coming from? Oh, do we not have the sea guard set up? No, we don't. So I guess we'll set the sea guard up on this left flank as well. And we'll push everyone back to this statue, I think. So let's move them up. Like so. That's going to be look. That's going to look awesome. Look at that. Uh, we also have this unit of white lions for some reason, which aren't formed up a little bit better. So hopefully that'll be okay. So yeah, let's form these guys up just so they look a little bit neater. And you guys can just form up behind the main line. Actually, what the hell? Yeah, you guys just form up with a sea guard behind the line. Yeah, like so. That's perfect. Cool. So let's go ahead and start a battle. We have lots of magic. And I believe we also this magic. Yeah, this is actually this is probably my favorite uh, law of magic, I think. Just so many buffs to my men. Some really, really good stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and start a battle then. So I think we immediately send our cavalry around here, uh, start harassing their lines, start getting some shots off, especially on their artillery as well. So I think that's what we're immediately going to do. Send off these guys. The artillery is already coming in. That's going to be kind of painful. You can already see it's hitting this one unit. Hold the line! Oh, that's dangerous. The quicker we take out this artillery, the better. I'm actually thinking about charging it. Yeah, I think I'm actually charging is going to be my best plan of action here. Because charging is just going to stop it from shooting. And you look how much damage it's already done on me. So yeah, just charging it. You know, look how much... Oh my god, the Reavers are running these guys down. Perfect. And as long as we just stop it from shooting, that's the main thing. You know, the longer we stop it from shooting, the better. We obviously all have all this cavalry as well to help us out. So you guys go around there. I'm hoping all our archers will be shooting very, very soon. Yeah, as long as we route these, uh, this artillery crew, it's all that matters. Oh, and beautiful. That's what we like to see. The archer fire coming off. Pinning them down. We should honestly be focusing down these rat ogres, but I just can't bother to click it, if I'm honest. How long? Nice. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to be great. Slowing these guys like up is amazing because it allows our archers just to hammer them. And it, also, these other units coming through as well. We're actually going to route the rat ogres before they make their way to my front line. Perfect. What unit they're going to come into? I want to pop, obviously, Flesh of Stones. We'll also, obviously, do this as well. Put a nice little Shield of Forms going off on all of these guys. Shield of Form giving these guys missile resistance and weapon damage as well. And here they come. The Skaven lines, their Warlords coming flying through on my battle line. That's absolutely fine, though. We'll send our General win, actually. We'll also pop this... Uh, this oh, we actually have a Replenishment spell. Nice. Oh, she's actually an archer as well. So I guess we'll let the archer kind of do her thing. The noble will go after her. And I guess we'll continue to pop, you know, our shields of fawn off on this central unit right here. Because it'll need it. Because the extra armor is going to be great. 110 armor on this unit. That's really good. Really, really good indeed. 
How's our cavalry doing? Okay, they've been routed, but as long as the artillery crew have gone, that's all that matters. Let's start moving our cavalry right, right, right around the flat. Oh, God, what happened here? I was not even paying attention. I guess they must have spawned up a lot of infantry there. Okay, let's fool these guys back a little bit. White lions, start making your way in, please. Uh, I guess we'll send this princess to go kill this artillery right there. No, kill these guys right there. God, I was not even paying attention. My bad. Let's actually retreat from this. We need all our cavalry, if I'm honest. Uh, you guys come back round. Just go ahead and miss artillery crew, please. Cavalry's come back, which is great. All of these archers can still shoot. I don't know why they're not. Yeah, all you guys can still shoot. And we'll continue to pop these buffs up as well. We'll pop an extended duration. Oh, we just don't even have an extended duration. We'll pop that off. All this cavalry should now be off. Yeah, just go kill with that. Come on, boys. You are getting a little bit caught, and that's my bad. Yeah, just come on. You can do this. We got this. You know, the infantry should be destroying them. We'll slow my a little bit, obviously, so I can get these uh, these close-ups and stuff. Uh, yeah, just get around. You know, we're kind of. I'm definitely getting caught here, so I need to probably change up a few attacks by pressing shift. Our mage is obviously constantly popping off these bonuses. Pop another one off right here just to buff all of these guys. You archers should be on guard mode, but yeah, just shoot shoot their missiles. You should make quick work of them, if I'm honest. How's their general faring as well? As I imagine, yeah, you're just hitting these poison wing globe deers, which is good. And the infantry should be doing great. Obviously, they do have storm vermin, which is, you know, somewhat difficult to deal with. But honestly, I'm not really too scared. Where's their general gone as well? Did we kill him or is he still here? I can't see him. Oh, he's routing back there. I'm going to tell all my missiles just to focus him down. And we'll also maybe just send this unit right around here and then help out there. Yeah, all our missiles just literally turn around and hit them, if I'm honest. Apart from you guys, you guys can keep dealing with these guys. You guys come around there. Again, just continue to chase down all these slingers is perfect, I think. Stopping their slingers from coming in, that's great. All that missile fire should be doing plenty of damage off of their general. We'll continue to pop off these bonuses off on our infantry. Um, I guess this one right here can get the actual additional bonus. And another, another, we don't even have another Earth Blood, that's fine though. Them slingers have been caught, perfect. The general can also move off as well. Cavalry come round, kill these slingers. You horses get out of there. The horses have definitely taken a lot of damage. The thing is though, as well, we might end up losing this army. With a soul... Oh, that's going to hurt. We might end up losing this army just because they also have another uh, Chaos army right here. Just really, really close to our land. So because of that, we might end up losing... Um, you know, we, we can't honestly take on both these armies, but we'll definitely give it a good shot. Cavalry is coming in and supporting my general. Seaguard, I maybe just change your focus over here. Nice, the general was one over here. We also have some regen uh, some replenishment spells, which we should be popping off, honestly, because we want to obviously keep these guys as H as HP heavy as we can. The general is dead now, though, which should give it a, give us a little bit easier of a, a task here as we just continue to push back these guys. I mean, I'm so surprised that the battle balance of power is so even still. Like, how's their morale still holding? Honestly. These debuffs are really, really hurting me. Luckily, though, we are beating back a lot of their units. Oh, my God. Then Poison Wing Globe of Deers. Not good at all. Yeah, I've really missed, missed on my cavalry here. And I think we might actually end up losing this battle. Hopefully not. Hopefully, like, our general is dead. So, I'm really surprised that they're keeping up as many men here as possible. We just need to see these guys dead. All the Poison Wing Globe of Deers should be dead. The infantry just seems to be holding, which is really impressive. They just continue to shoot them. Any magic. How long until another Earth Blood? Six, and we, we get one every 22 seconds. That's not good enough, honestly. Our general needs to come back, obviously. Cavalry come back round. Missiles change focus over here. I mean, even you can maybe come round. Yeah, our general needs to get back here. Nice. We're starting to route our front line. Keep shooting up. Cavalry keep on chasing them. You just come in and scare off these slingers, I think, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed by the way that infantry is hold, held in this battle, honestly. Um, I want to try and hold off so we can get another Earth Blood off and just clump up our units and, and use that to our advantage. Okay, all our missiles now, I think, just focus down this cavalry. The I mean, battle obviously is still not over, but... Our general is now here. 
Pop a nice little debuff on all of these guys. Try and get our cavalry out of there. And obviously what we'll do as well is we will definitely take off the, we'll take on the replenishment as well. Guys, just come flying into this flank. Like, surely that's going to be enough to route them. Our archers should be more than enough to break these guys. And just you guys just continue to chase him down, honestly. Where's that Earthblood? Is that Earthblood here? It is indeed perfect. Earthblood right here. Come on, guys. Everyone get in. Everyone get in. This is going to be huge. Come on. That's beautiful. That's lovely to see. Like, how are they still holding? That's really impressive, actually. The amount of missiles we have come flying in. And also, their dudes over here are doing a great job against me. I guess they are death runners, but even still. I am impressed, man. Cavalry keep on getting out of there. I think if I didn't miss, like, misuse my cavalry as much as I did in this battle, it would have been easy. But I definitely wasn't paying attention. Because I'm just not used to this. Normally the AI is just such an easy run over that I just don't really even have to worry about them. But this time they have actually been somewhat uh, difficult. They're not messing around, I guess. You know, because the past 100 turns, I've just, like, really overwhelmed this campaign, which is good. I'm definitely not complaining. Finally starting to break them. Uh, finally. We also have some more replenishment. I guess we'll just try and pop off as much of this, you know, replenishment as we can. Try to regenerate these guys. I don't think we're going to get another Earthblood off. And there we go. Routing the enemy forces. Perfect. Archers, I guess, just continue to shoot them. General, there we go. Oh, that was a scary-ass battle. I was not confident that we were going to win it in some points. But I think, you know, if if I, if I didn't mess up my cavalry, I think it would have been absolutely fine. But we definitely need to take on my replenishment. We definitely lost a load of units as well. But cool, we should have killed the majority of their forces. I'm not going to just spend that entire time running them down. Killing their general was great. But yeah, I'm, I'm impressed by how good their infantry actually did, honestly. Like, granted, we are only using basic spearmen, but still... But we're definitely, definitely, definitely going to need, need to take on this replenishment. I mean, honestly, as well, all we have to do is hold off until Tyrion arrives. 7%, I will take that. And what I'm scared of is this Chaos Army, which is still le left to come in. Oh, it's actually moved on. That's great. Tyrion can kill that army next turn, man. Tyrion can kill both these armies next turn. They're going straight for a ritual site as well. Thank God Tyrion is here. Thank God Tyrion is here. So yeah, I'm not scared of this problem. You can see we're actually lo losing money now, which is funny. But yeah, what are they going to do here? Nothing. Literally nothing. I guess then if that's the case... I can't believe our intervention army got slaughtered as well. I guess if that is the case, you make your way up here. Um, and just try and support this. Yeah, we're not even going to get these guys. That's so annoying. We do get a bunch of money though. I mean, we can... Oh, we can't because we're forced marched her. Right, yeah. Um, I guess you come down now then, or maybe even go up northwards. Can I offer assistance? The yeah, so both these armies are now garrisoning this. The Phoenix Gates are holding. That's fine. No. This army should obviously march off and we'll be able to kill it. Phoenix Gates should be more than enough. Tyrion, as, I, as we said, Champions. can he attack these guys? As you yeah, go give him hell, Tyrion. Your army is still a little bit depleted, but I imagine this is just going to be auto-resolved city. Is indeed. I, I don't really want to fight that army as well. It's just a disgusting army. For my queen. So that's one army done. Horn of... Uh, what does this do? Passive ability, reload speed, and melee attack. That's not actually bad. I'm actually going to stick that on my Lawmaster. Because my Lawmaster, I think, is the majority of the time going to spend that, that, you know, that advance in the back. Is it an item? I swear it was a... Um, it's not a weapon, is it? No, it's not. I swear it was a, a banner. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just get that next turn. Uh, maybe Tyrion already has it. it. Maybe it just pops in next turn or something. Must do, I would assume. Tyrion also levels up as well, which is just in time to get Deadly Onslaught. I will take that. Because um, then we can start getting these really nice spells. spells you know, melee defense, speed, weapon master. All that lovely stuff. Um, and then I guess we'll just get ready to kill the Skaven army. Actually, you can probably move on and just kill it, right? Yeah, you can just kill the Skaven army. Meaning we can actually send Tyrion back if we need to. So yeah, just slaughter that. I think Tyrion also helped out as well. We'll obviously, obviously also take on that replenishment. So nice, we've killed one of their lords. That is good news. I guess you go back and then Tyrion... Can he force march anywhere? I guess Tyrion force march back over here. Not, but we might actually need help over here as well, though. Also. 
But I mean, it's looking okay, I think. Yeah, both of these armies, I think, are going to get killed. It's not really, they're not really very good. Yeah, we should be enough here. Especially if we just recruit some more men. And obviously, we also have the garrison as well. And the garrisons in all of these provinces are okay. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna take this back. It'd be a bit pissed if these guys take my province there. If that's what they're going for instead of lifting the siege. But yeah, we have to deal with these. You know, there's only two armies left there, two armies to the north, and then yeah, yeah, overall pretty good. That's oh, a banner. Okay, good to know. But yeah, we, we've we've kind of kind of recovered. I like the way though that they, they, they well, it was kind of difficult. Seven armies it was hard to deal with. Um, I guess where do we send you now? Because this is obviously ritual site is obviously protected. Maybe down south? I don't know. I guess up northward. Yeah, I guess we send you northwards yeah, just in I case see. something bad happens. So we'll do that. Alright, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Next episode, we'll continue on with the ritual. What is the ritual called? Ritual of the Scholar. Um, and hopefully we can then deal with all these incursions and invasions and stuff. And then after we've done this, I think what we'll do is we'll take the Chaos Wastelands. We'll send Tyrion and maybe another Lord. Uh, maybe even Sir Alistair will go with him. And we'll start hitting the lands over in the Chaos Wastes. Or in the, sorry, yeah, I guess these are Chaos Wastes in Nagaron. We'll try and deal with that. Um, and then I don't know what else we'll do. I might also try and get this faction to go to war with the uh, with the Dark Elves as well. Maybe using some of my Intrigue at court. So what are they? Well, yeah, maybe we'll spend some of our influence. So they are these guys? Yeah, they are these dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah, they are. And we'll try and get them to go to war with Nagaron. Now, obviously this is just more of a fawn in their side, but they hate each other. Oh, they're actually already at war. What the hell, then? That's fine, then. I mean... Who else is... Is everyone else at war up here, right? Also, where's Master Mundi? Is he just being, like, ruined? Because the pirates pretty much hold the whole of this. Well, not the pirates, but the crusaders, even. The New World Colonies. What happened to Master Mundi? But it looks like he's been absolutely ruined. Oh, look how powerful the vampire... Well, the lizardmen down here are. Never really seen them get too big. Cool, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. Make sure to drop a like and a comment. Our land is looking pretty nice once we obviously reclaim everything. Whole of Ulf 1... And then we'll also move into the uh, into Nagaron and, and try and take out more of that land. So cool, make sure to drop a like and a comment if you are still enjoying this series. And I'll see you guys next time and fish out.